What is up, YouTube? Uh, thanks for joining us on another episode of The Three Admirals. It's your boy, Admiral Jerome, joined by Josh and Kevin. Say what's up. What's going on, everyone? How's it going, everyone? Chapter 999. Boys, <laughs> it's here, finally. Uh, the sake I brew while waiting for you. This one had so much in it. Ace, Yamato, Kaido, Big Mom. Commanders, white everything, white beard, everything, everything. So um, this episode's brought to you by House of Otaku. But uh, Josh, why don't you get us pop in with that summary for this week? Thanks, Jerome. Again, that was an amazing intro. Always do a great job. And like you said, this was a packed chapter. We have so much stuff to cover today. Um, one more to a thousand. So let's dive right into it. Um, so I'm sure most of us had already theorized that Yamato and Ace had, had fought, um, but it's nice to see it in action. Um, I was not expecting Kaido to actually not be on the island, and I guess none of the other high-ranking officers were there either. So I guess Ace, I was kind of hoping that he would have met Kaido, but this was just as good. Um, it seems as though they were pretty even, which is which is interesting. Like, What do you guys think about that? Did you think Yamato would be as strong as Ace, or...? That was surprising to me. I I mean, I thought like if anything, one of them would have an upper hand, whether that would have been Yamato or Ace. But yeah, them being even was definitely a shock. Um, I guess it's it's a little. I didn't take it too seriously. It's one of those times when like um, One Piece has those battles in like non-serious moments where both characters are just like they don't have hate for each other and they might seem even. But then in another in another battle, one character will be completely serious and probably take his strength to another level. There was that, but there's also the fact that what was interesting was that Ace didn't even know any advanced hockey. So he wasn't even able to like think about taking off those chains off of, of um off of Yamato. So anyways, that's those are the two takeaways that I saw from that fight. No, no, for sure, man. Like a uh, great point on him not having that advance or Rio, like they get to call it in Wano. Um, I love that Cavendish got a shout out, yes. although it was it was kind of funny. He didn't know his full name, and that's kind of like a whole play on him wanting to be popular all the time. That was awesome. Um, we got some yeah. kid, we got Law, we got Beg, of course. So I mean, that was really cool. And I love that Ace is hyping up Luffy even before he hits the sea. That's great. Like I love that. Mm -hmm. Um. Moving on here, I'm just gonna kind of go through it as fast as I can here. Um, it's really funny. We get uh, Momonosuke and Shinobu's reaction to <laughs> um, Yamato being Kaido's daughter. So mm -hmm. that was pretty funny. That was awesome. Yeah, that was great. And we even get um, Tama. She finally finds out that Luffy is Ace's little brother. So that was also a really interesting. I like that. I was waiting for that moment. How about you guys? What do you guys think about that? Yeah, I was waiting for that moment, actually. I was waiting mm -hmm. for when that reveal would happen. Um, uh, it happened a lot later than I expected. Yeah. But her reaction was priceless. I can't wait to see it in the anime. Absolutely. It was cute. It was cute. It's cute. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> um, we have Marco basically, or, or I guess um, the samurai are helping Robin and Brooke get up to the floor. I on like last last review, I really did think that Robin was going to end up taking over the fight for Sanji, which would free him up for Queen. And I think Brooke is actually Kevin. Brooke is going to help Jimbei with Who's Who, and that's going to let Jimbei fight Jack. I'm still on that. I still think that Jimbei and Jack will fight. I think all of Kaido's commanders are going to fight Luffy's three strongest uh, pirate crew members. I think it's still going to happen. Jerome, what do you think? I thought you were back. Give me some support on this one. I'm on board. I'm on board. Like. Uh... I mean, in terms of strength, like, th those are kind of the only guys who I think could compete with Kaido's commanders. But I'm also starting to think less and less, like, we're going to see matchups. Like, I, I do think it's just going to be pure craziness. Maybe the only matchup we get is, like, Luffy, Law, Kid against Kaido and Big Bomb getting oh. getting handled quickly. Um, okay, okay. It, I mean, just the way it's been building up, like everybody's so set on there being matchups and i yeah. think it's just gonna be chaos okay but okay i am here for jimbei and jack if it's not a full matchup i do think they're definitely gonna tough uh they're gonna fight i i think they are gonna fight i just don't think it's gonna be li like a full chapter long or anything crazy like that okay. but i could definitely see it going down 
Okay, all right, all right. F- Fishman violence. Ray I Kevin, love that. You love I love it. that. <laughs> yeah, man. Look, you guys already know my thoughts on this. You guys mm-hmm. can check the previous video. But I will say that, uh, yeah, I like the matchup. And I also like um, um, I also like the fact how Marco is just bringing up Zoro right away. And uh, But what I pulled away from the chapter, you know, you guys focus too much on the fight. I want to look at the art and the story. What I was looking at on this one, though, is uh, just Marco's motivation for coming to um, uh, Wano. And it had, originally we all thought like, oh, well, we didn't really even know what to think when Marco wanted to help him out. He was kind of just ambiguous and probably he thought, we thought it had to do with their connection to Marine Ford. But it really had to do with like fulfilling Ace's will more so than anything. So that's what I pulled away from that whole interaction. But matchup wise, matchup wise, uh, I guess we'll see. I, I'm, I'm actually, I agree with um, uh, Admiral Jerome. Um, uh, this going to be chaos. So I'm not necessarily sure if there's going to be like a set matchup, but we'll see. You know what, man? That was great. Sorry, Jerome. What were you going to say there? No, I was going to say, do you have anything else to say about Marco for the summary? Just because I have like one point I kind of wanted to bring up. No, that was it. That was it. Take it away. Man. So Marco mentions, and this has been an ongoing theme the new generation it could be a translation thing but marco's still on it he's still talking about there being a new generation go watch our weevil video we talk a lot about the foreshadowing for marco talking about the new generation um i think it's just major foreshadowing for the eventual defeat of kaido the eventual defeat of big mom the rise of luffy and not just luffy the generation so that means like supernova's kid uh, Law, I mean, if Law makes it, uh, but <laughs> I think we're going to see a lot of Supernova stuff popping off soon, but yeah, that really stood out when Marco said that again, he's still on this whole new generation and like, I'm all about, I'm all about that. No, I, I definitely love that as well. Marco's uh, been a refreshing character for the, for the heroes in this arc here. And even speaking about Marco, we finally get the explanation on why Wiper never went to Wano to avenge Odin. Uh, you know, a lot of people were always like, oh, it made no sense. This is a plot hole, this and that. But never doubt Oda. He always gives, always delivers. And as we can see, Ace did go back and he did want to, like, fulfill his promise. But uh, Wiper Smart, they know that it just would have been. I think there's somewhere in the story where it even says if two emperors were to fight, they'd both die. So obviously at that point, it would just be pointless casualties, exactly as was mentioned in the story. But it's just really nice to see that Marco and... Oh my God, I'm blanking his name. What's Kiku's brother's name? Izo. There you go. Izo, yeah. It's nice to say that. Izo wanted the smoke. Exactly, I love that. And now they're here helping Luffy. And and Luffy obviously is kind of carrying Ace's will. So it's just really nice to see. And as we were talking before the video, we even get some, we get Blackbeard. (laughs) This guy's funny, but like, it's funny to see how like he can understand that Ace wants to take down the big shot. Ace also wants to like make his name known around the world. That was his whole thing into becoming a pirate so it's really nice to see that what did you guys think of the teach cameo there yeah i love any any blackbeard appearances any blackbeard he exactly. could say he could say nothing and it's just it's just good to see him it just it always reminds me that like he's lurking and like i'm a, he's probably the most pirate exactly absolutely like, absolutely he was just scheming the whole time. Like, that is exactly <laughs> what I was saying. This guy was patiently waiting. <laughs> that that smile and everything, it was like, oh, oh, bro, there was wickedness under that smile, man. This I, guy, man. He was waiting for his chance, played the, the fake card. So that's what I thought about that whole thing. I love that. Absolutely. And this is the th- second time or third time we're getting a king panel. We still have no bounty. What's going on with this here? <laughs> This guy, yeah. bro. Yeah, man. I don't know what's going on here, but um, um, hopefully we get something soon. Absolutely. And you, I don't know if you guys noticed, uh, Queen has a gun in his mouth. That was pretty crazy. I noticed <laughs> that. I noticed that. Um, That's um, funny. Queen having a gun in his mouth. That was pretty crazy. But what else? What else? I mean, Yamato even has the journal and bringing up the initial D. So who knows? Maybe... 1000 is going to be a huge reveal maybe we even get what the meaning of d is and there's a lot of juicy information in that book man you know and so i don't know if to that but 
I, I think that it's super important. And I even forgot that Yamato is carrying Odin's journal and everything is in there. What did you guys think about that? Yeah, I think, um, um, I think, I think in that, uh, in Odin's journal, there's all the secrets actually to the one piece and the, uh, the meaning of D. Uh, I'm not necessarily sure how that's ne going to play out with the Straw Hats because I think they want their own adventure and they don't really want to know everything that happens when they reach Laugh Tale. But that's, I had a lot of thoughts start circling when I remember that journal and the hint that it might keep the secret of that, le uh, of that letter. Jerome, what did you think? It made me wonder what Kaido knows. Like, does Kaido know the information that's in that book? Because if he doesn't, that's just funny. His daughter has, like, the <laughs> secrets to the Willa D, and he's just getting drunk, has no idea what's going on, <laughs> and it's, like, all right under his nose. Um, the end... Actually, Josh, I'll let you continue before I talk about the end. All right, all right. So... Very interesting enough, Big Mom is recharged. Uh, Prometheus and Zeus, they're they're back to full strength. They look stronger than full strength, man. Bro, they got a big like, meal. <laughs> yo, Big Mom is just out for Luffy, and I love that about her. I know we meme her a lot. We make fun of her a lot, but she's like she's out here waiting for Luffy. You all <laughs> make fun of her a lot. You all. All right, all right, all right. She's a meme. She's been hilarious. She getting tossed around by Nico and Jimbe. What's not to make fun of, Kevin? <laughs> You just got a, right. you just got a crush on her. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I respect. Go ahead, go ahead, Josh. But she's she is very pirate like. She's very cunning, and we kind of find out reason. Although she wants Luffy's head, she also came here looking for that pony glyph, and she's basically telling Kaido, oh, make sure that you do not kill Robin. So, Big Mom is very much still wanting the One Piece, and I feel like what she's actually here for. When she, I think she's gonna turn on Kaido eventually. I think maybe that's why half her crew didn't show up. Uh, that's for another video. But the big reveal here is that we finally find out what Big Mom had, what that debt is, what Kaido owes Big Mom, and it's that she gave him the fish, the fish fish fruit, and yeah. we all thought it was a dragon. He has a mythical zone, obviously, but it's just crazy to know that she gave it to him. What, did you, what were you going to say, Jerome, about that? Uh, I mean, it was... I didn't see it coming at all, like, at all. Um, the hints were there, like you said, Josh, like the scales, the mustache. I don't really get where the horns come from. I, I mean, I guess that's part of like the lore behind the koi fish in Chinese culture. Mm -hmm. um, but I just didn't see that coming one bit. Yeah, I was shocked about that uh, as well. Um, um, but to me, it makes sense. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, to me, it makes sense. I'm not. What, what were your thoughts on that, Josh? Before I uh, before I get into a deeper delve, what are your thoughts on that? So I have two things. Uh, Joe made a very interesting point about the horns. Um, in the rocks flashback panel that we got, Kaido did have the horns, and I don't think he had the fruit then because it mm -hmm. seems like he got the fruit after God Valley, after rocks fell to ruin. Yeah. No, he would have had the fruit then. He would have would had, he have had it. Yeah, because she, the way she said it was like after the loss at God's Valley, I gave you the fruit. Exactly. See, if you read it again, on the day at God Valley when the rocks pirate fell through, and I was the one who gave you your mythical fish, fish fruit. So he got it the day they lost. Mm -hmm. so, could be a translation thing. Could exactly. It's very could true. Be. But I mean, Yamato has horns too, right? Mm -hmm. So like, yeah. I think I think they're a different race. But that's another discussion there. My second thought is that I think maybe because the whole lore is kind of like a magic carp. If you guys follow Pokemon, I'm sure we all did. Um, pro she probably thought it was a waste of a fruit. I don't think she's gonna give him a fruit if she knew that it was gonna be that powerful. So she probably I don't know. thought that the fish fish. You think because I, the whole lore of it is that like you get it it's useless and then it, it's supposed to become like this giant dragon or whatever right I, that's basically the whole thing right it's, it's not mm -hmm. you're not supposed to know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so she probably gave it to him thinking that it was a dud of a fruit again we, we have zero idea until we get that flashback but those are based that's just my thought on it and i, I just love that oda kind of everyone thought kaido was a pony glyph people thought he was an actual dragon that ate the oni oni fruit like that was too funny man like this is this is gold i love it yeah yeah i i agree it was definitely gold i think you guys both i think you guys both capture my thoughts on this one um, um so there's nothing much more to add but josh did, jerome did you want to add anything more 
so I had two things. The first, I totally ship Ace and Yamato. During the chapter, I was like, these two should, they would be perfect together. That would be like a major goals couple. When I was talking about the spoilers with Josh, one of the things I guessed was like, <laughs> were Ace and Yamato a thing? Because I, I could totally have seen that. They're like, they're building up to be two of the most liked people in One Piece. Yamato hits with like every fan. Ace is like still at the top of the popularity charts. I really would have loved to seen like some kind of romantic like flair between those two, but that didn't happen, obviously. Uh, the second thing I wanted to say was, I think that this chapter kind of builds up Nico, uh, Robin being captured. Um, and Robin being captured, in my opinion, would probably be like they're gonna get defeated at Onigashima if they lose at Onigashima. Maybe Robin gets captured because there's still power ups out there for some of the characters. Like Zoro still doesn't have uh, the Nidai Katetsu. I just yeah. I think he's gonna get that eventually. Um, when Hawkins gave his prediction at the beginning of Wano of like. Uh, can't remember exactly what he predicted but he said like in a couple of months from now or a couple of weeks and i don't think we're fully at that that time frame um so i think there is still some time left and and i think robin being captured would would add some some spice to the to the to the arc for sure definitely would be yeah it would be spicy absolutely um, and you're right, there's still so much more left in the story. As you said, we still have the Nidai out there. We still have other characters um, who are still on the, in, or in the flower capital. Um, there's Hiori, there's Caribou. So there's just still a whole other story that needs to be told moving into the next stages of Wano. Um, I do like that uh, Pudding was also mentioned. Um, yeah. It's just nice to know that that's still a thing. So her being mentioned probably is Oda wanting us to like remember her hey remember pudding she can potentially read the pony glyph and also remember she has a fruit that can erase memories i th really do feel that oya has been recycling fruits uh, we had bon, bon chance fruit used we had bart's fruit so my big thing and maybe we'll save it for another video is that i do think pudding's fruit was used at some point in b back a long time ago and i think we're gonna get a flashback on that that's just a, a really crazy theory i have but we'll save that for another video for sure what do you think her fruit was used for to like make people forget about a Some, certain pirate? That's what, hey man, I mean, that's such a powerful fruit. And like, why introduce it? Why I give it to her? Pudding's also super young. There's no way she had the fruit. She wasn't alive back then. So just the fact that Oda was su is super open to having the same fruit used more than once in this arc. I think that that fruit has a purpose. Um, it was used on Sanji and I think that it will be used. I, I, my whole thing is that I, I do believe that Rox is still out there and I'm still holding on to hope that we will get a reveal, hopefully in 1000. If not, it'll be later on, but, but again, that's for another video. It's yeah. crazy that you say that because I was just thinking the other day, like how come nobody, like some people don't know about Rox um, or don't know what happened to him. And I was thinking like, is there a memory fruit out there that could have been used to make people forget? And that the fact you said that's just crazy, kind of reaffirming my my craziness headcanon going on. Oh, does a genius writer. He threw pudding in there and he's got to remember what pudding can do. So the proof is in the pudding. The, hey, there it is. <laughs> all, right, all right. All right. All right. Let's get uh, let's get to some ratings here. Let's get to some ratings. What do you guys rate the chapter starting with uh, PC? Oh man, uh, I give it an eight. I want to give it eight point five, but we hmm. it, we didn't get we got some. Okay, the Kaido fruit was amazing. I love that, but for me personally, for it to be a nine or a ten, I need to get a fight going on and I need to get some juicy info. So an eight is still great, but I'm gonna stick with that. I'm going seven and a half. I liked it. I liked it, but there it wasn't juicy enough for me. Like the, I'm, you know what? I'll go eight. I'll go eight. Koi koi fish was, the was koi nice. koi fruit was was actually too much. Like, uh, that's a crazy reveal. I I gotta revise that. I'm going eight. All right, I'm gonna give it uh, a seven. That's about it. I um, I felt like this was just a build up chapter, 
felt like there wasn't uh, there was a lot of information given as well but i felt like this chapter is what will make other chapters so much better to read and enjoy so i'm gonna give it just a seven no, i'm cool with that i'm the same i mean like for me personally even if like Zoro was or let's say Sanji because I know you're a Sanji guy if Sanji like is using his fruit and he's ready to fight Queen just that alone that standoff that would make a chapter like a nine for me because I've been waiting for that for a long time um this was good though but again I'm still waiting for the meat the meat of the of the arc you know and yeah we'll get it we'll get it at chapter a thousand which I'm excited for next week I cannot wait for that cannot wait hopefully hopefully so guys uh let us know what you thought about the chapter let us know what you thought about the video like comment subscri subscribe give us your own rating please we'd love to know what you thought of the chapter um it was lit we're gonna be back with another video soon um we got a couple videos in the vault waiting as well um so yeah did you guys have anything else you wanted to add no that's it for me man might have skimmed over a few things, but we can definitely, as Jerome said, we have stuff in the vault for you guys. We could even make a video just analyzing the chapter in more detail later on this week. So for sure, let us know what you think. Like Jerome said, like, subscribe, uh, help us out. All right, All right, and take care, everybody. Peace out. Peace out, guys.